Who's ready to fly? Yeah! Hey, we're gonna be starting some phone fires. Me, Mr. Marshall, I got Zach here, and we are doing tip series two for Charlie. Um, and uh, the big one for him was to teach people how to use the laser cutter, specifically our students and anybody else who is planning to um, get lucky enough to get a laser cutter, or that in any other schools that are implementing our program. This is how we set up ours, so you guys can do the same thing for, uh, for yours. So if you have curriculum um, funds and stuff that you guys can use to purchase a laser cutter, I highly recommend it because it has changed our hobby tremendously. Um, we used to do everything out of X-Acto knives, and now we just pretty much have everything on file, right? Mm -hmm. How many planes do you think we have on file? <laughs> uh, I'd say around like... Maybe 20 or 30 planes on file. So we have like 30 planes so over the past two years where a kid just pretty much says, Hey, I want to flight test P51. Uh, I, I just tell Zach, Zach goes and prints it out. Um, uh, but what we're going to show you guys today, we're actually doing a design, a new plane. It's called the um, Typhoon Eurofighter. And um, can I tell you how the process of that went so we can get this here? So let's say a student has designed a CAD drawing of their plane, or it could be a motor mount or something like that. Um, what they're going to want to do is they, they get in CAD first and then they transfer it to a program that we use called Corel, Corel Draw. Draw 6, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we use Corel Draw 6 and that works really well with the laser. And what works really well with the laser is that you can set it at a 24 by 18 and then what it does is that is pretty much your workable area on the laser. So a kid will take all his pieces that are a part of his plane and he'll load them up onto this working area and down here you'll see that it takes four pages so four foam boards to create this drawing and so what uh, Zach will do is he'll show us how he goes and prepares it for cutting so Zach why don't you go ahead and show how we get the laser cutter set up alright so first of all obviously you gotta turn on the air vent uh, and also the laser cutter So. First of all, we have a blank job here, so that means that nothing is already embedded um, for the job. So, if you want this first piece, or the first page, then all you're going to do is select Control P, which is short for Control Print. Um, it'll analyze the document, and it portrays it as not what you want it to be. So, as you can see, it's not the full page. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into Preferences, you're going to go to advanced and you're going to load the preset settings that Mr. Marshall already did so the red lines are the fold lines so it'll engrave it and the black lines are the cut lines so it's already loaded and it all also has the 24 by 18 set so all you're going to do is you're going to hit OK and you're going to want to do the current page because you don't want it to print the whole thing so then what you're going to want to do is hit print and then you're going to pick up piece of foam board, make sure it's nice and level on each side. And you should always do this before printing out a page, but set the foam board in, flip this little thing over and make sure it's touching the top of the foam board. Make sure it's set. Yep. So how do we bring it down? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into focus mode. And it's not. So you want to bring down the bed? Flip this up. And then, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to... Down. You're going to hit the down button so it makes it go a little bit up. And just make sure it's touching. It's still crooked, so you just want to keep doing it until it's nice and level. 
Okay, so now what we can do is we can adjust it so that it's perfect. So as you see, it's perfect, right? Right there. So now you're set. Now all you do is you hit reset, or right there, and then it's set up. Okay? Now you got your job laid out on the dashboard, and all you hit is go, and then it does the rest of the work for you. Cool. So on average, what's how many times have you done this now since the start of school, from kids to projects to whatever it might be? I'd say I've done this about a lot, over 25 times, and it's good to just have practice with it. So I usually come in at lunch and work on this. So it's it's just good practice. So right now, what's it doing right now? Is it just doing the red lines? Yes, it is doing the red lines. It is engraving it for the fold lines. Now it's cutting. Cool. So it does the red lines first. So like it's got its own, pretty much it's got its own mind. <laughs> so it just does the red lines first for organization and it does the black lines for cutting last. Awesome. So students um, and teachers, you know, to use this as a tool for especially rapid prototyping, getting a design out there, laser cutter is, is definitely um, the best thing you can get. It's the best investment. Um, we've actually turned it into helping us grow um, our little business to help fund our program, um, but as well as just being able to, that instant gratification that a middle schooler wants. So instead of spending three months to build a plane, they can essentially build a plane in a week because of this technology, so it's pretty cool. Well, Zach, I hope that um, uh, I hope that this was able to get out to our students and to people using the laser cutter in the future for this. And uh, thanks for helping us out today. No problem.